everybody and welcome to day 404 of Racer Stories and today I'm going to be reading Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl and illustrated by Quentin Blake and I'm going to be reading you chapter 9 called Mr. Fox Has a Plan. For three days and three nights this waiting game went on. How long can a fox go without food or water? Bob was asked on the third day. Not much longer now, Bean told him. He'll make your run for it soon. He'll have to. Bean was right. Down in the tunnel, the foxes were slowly but surely starving to death. If only we could have just a tiny sip of water, said one of the small foxes. Oh, Dad, can't you do something? Couldn't we make a dash for it, Dad? We'd have a little bit of a chance, wouldn't we? No chance at all, snapped Mrs. Fox. I refuse to let you go up there and face those guns. I'd sooner you stay down here and die in peace. Mr. Fox had not spoken for a long time. He had been sitting quite still, his eyes closed, not even hearing what the others were saying. Mrs. Fox knew that he was trying desperately to think of a way out. And now, as she looked at him, she saw him stir himself and get slowly to his feet. He looked back at his wife. There was a little spark of excitement dancing in his eyes. What is it, darling? said Mrs. Fox quickly. I've just had a bit of an idea, Mr. Fox said carefully. What? they cried. Oh, Dad, what is it? Come on, said Mrs. Fox. Tell us quickly. Well, said Mr. Fox, then he stopped inside and sadly shook his head. He sat down again. It's no good, he said. It won't work after all. Why not, Dad? Because it means more dinging uh, and we aren't. And we aren't any of us strong enough for that after three days and nights without food. Yes, we are, Dad, cried the small foxes, jumping up and running to their father. We can do it. You see, if we can't, so you can. Mr. Fox looked at the four small foxes and he smiled. What fine children I have, he thought. They are starving to death and they haven't had a drink for three days. But they are still undefeated. I must not let them down. I I suppose we could give it a try, he said. Let's go, Dad. Tell us what you want us to do. Slowly, Mrs. Fox got to her feet. She was suffering more than any of them for the lack of food and water. She was very weak. I'm so sorry, she said, but I don't think I'm going to be much help. You stay right where you are, my darling, said Mr. Fox. We can handle this by ourselves. The end. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful chapter in this book called Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl and illustrated by Quentin Blake. So I better go now. I'm sorry about the late story as I was outside playing soccer on my tractor with my younger brother Kyle. And I was helping my dad do some jobs outside. So I better go now and I guess I'll see you all tomorrow for the 405 of Reese's Stories. So bye everybody. Good luck.